welcome back to my swaggy channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Royal High Summer Fantasy set and this is a brand new limited edition seasonal set for Royal High and it has like a mermaid beach theme which is very cool and the set does come in masculine and feminine versions so you just need to buy one version and you can use both. So today I'm going to be showing you the different toggles, different coloring, how the set looks in general and just other things you might want to know. So first let's just start off with this price tag. So the set has six items in total. We have a skirt for 35k, shoes for 50k, a top or corset for 24k, sleeves for 22k, veil for 8k, and a purse for 25k. As you see, I didn't buy the purse, but you know, that's just my decision. And all of these items total up to a grand total of 160k diamonds, which is quite a lot and can take a long time to get. So if you just want to get specific things from the set, you, I mean, you don't have to get it all, but you know, just that. As I said, there is a masculine and feminine version of the set, and I'm going to start off by showing you the feminine one, which I already have on me. So yeah, so first I'm just going to show you the different colors you can use. So for the skirt, we have four color slots, and this is what you use them to color. The first one does this little sash thingy. The second color colors the part of the skirt, which is kind of a gradient. The third one finishes the gradient to the skirt, and the fourth one if I can click on it, adds some details. You can see some of these little charms are this color and this ribbon and the middle of the bow. Moving on to the shoe coloring. So the first color colors the base of the shoe. This one colors, kind of finishes the gradient. This orange color is this little bottom where your toes are. And the fourth color colors this little pearl stuff this like anklet thingy so next our veil also has four color slots first one is the first gradient second one finishes the gradient and the third colors these pearls and the fourth one adds a little veil on top and finishes some of the details so these sleeves also have four colors so we have a little outline then second color is a gradient orange or like the third color is you know the finish finishing of the gradient and the fourth color is if i can make that a different color is the color of some of the rings moving on to the top which is the last part so one so first color is the top of the gradient the second color is the bottom of the gradient the third color colors these little strings and the middle of the bow, and the fourth color colors the bow. And what I want to mention is all the coloring is same for the feminine and masculine versions of this set. Okay gamers, so now I'm going to kind of give you some close-ups of the set and show you the toggles. So first let's do the shoes, and I have really bad angles for here. Um, So I think this is as best as I can get it. So, here are the first toggle, and it's like these little sandals, and our second toggle is seashell stilettos, which are basically just like the sandals, except they have a little heel, and our next toggle is the elegant pearl stilettos, stilettos, I'm saying it so wrong, and these are just like the heels before, except they have no little decoration, so they're just very casual and basic. And then we have the sandal bow thingies and they are just the same as the ones before except they have a little bow and lastly we can also go barefoot which is interesting because royal high has never done this before on a set and all we have here is just a little anklet and it kind of looks like barbie doll legs um if your feet won't go flat though it'll look like you're on your tiptoes but that's okay <laughs> So those so the skirt is very detailed, it has multiple layers, and it has this little sash, and some chains with charms, and at the top it's a little ruffled, and at the back it just kind of finishes. So I'm going to show you the toggles for the skirt. So we can transform into an evening gown, and this is my personal favorite, it's just this basic kind of sheer 
little gown thingy and then we can also go to a sarong and this is the last toggle i don't know how i feel about this it looks a little awkward but you know you do you so moving on to the sleeves the fingers have long nails and some nice rings the fingers do look a bit funky i don't know if they're gonna fix that in the future but otherwise the hands look decent and these kind of remind me of shadow empress sleeves so they are just you know wrap around your elbow area and on this hand we have this little bracelet with some charms and on the other hand we have this tattoo that isn't removable moving on to the corset or the top how they called it it is kind of a little wrap around your body as you can see in the back it just wraps around and in the front it's kind of tied together with these strings and at the bottom we have some dangly charms on here some shells and stars and at the top we have a little bow with a seashell moving on to the veil situation the veil has some different layers and we have some chains going around and in the front we have these pearl like beads with a three little seashells down up here so this is basically all for the female set now moving on to the masculine version okay so now i am going to talk about the masculine set and unlike other royal high sets that have two versions it's pretty similar to the female version so i'm just going to go through it one of the big differences is that the sandals don't have heels and they do have some toggles so i'm just going to show those to you so we can transform to simple sandals and no chains so they don't have any accessories they're just simple sandals we can do platform sandals which are the more complex sandals with accessories but they have a little platform and Lastly, we can also go barefoot, and unlike the female version, your feet are flat on the ground. Moving on to the skirt, it looks basically the same as the female skirt, except it is a bit larger. We have the same toggles, we have evening gown, and also sarong. And moving on to the corset. So the corset has no toggles as with the female set. It has a little bow seashell thingy, a little necklace, and some crossovers. And in the back, it doesn't tie, it just has two st arm straps. I can't talk. And for the sleeves, which aren't really sleeves, it's just hands. So the arms actually look a bit better than the female one. We have a lot of rings, a bracelet, kind of this upper arm bracelet with chains and charms. And here we also have the same tattoo and a simple bracelet as well as some more rings. And finally, the veil is also the same. It has these chains and layers of fabric i guess so there we have it here is the new set and i think it looks great in both masculine and feminine versions so it's definitely a wonderful set i mean i think there's some things they could try to fix like the wonky fingers but i think it's just a very beautiful and summery set and if you don't have a lot of diamonds you can just save up for one part of this set. There are definitely some cool things you can try to save up with for. And I think this set, if you mix it with other sets, it will also go very well. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped and I hope you will be able to make up your mind if you should buy this or what parts you should buy. And if you want to see more swaggy videos like this, subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload and smash that juicy like button 